Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. It's dark outside because it's currently like 11.20 and um, I'm picking up the camera for the first time today because I thought that my snack crate box was going to come in the mail today, but it didn't. And so I didn't have anything to film. So anyways, I'm just going to edit a video that I filmed last month of the snack crate that I got for November. And that's going to be Vlogmas Day 16. So here's past me from November. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out Snack Crate, and it is a box that has snacks from a country around the world, and every month it's a different country. This video is not sponsored. I just want to say that before I keep going because it sounds kind of sponsored, and it is not. Ooh, this box is from, oh, why is it not doing that? This box is from Australia. Here we go. This box is from Australia. I'm not gonna open this because I don't wanna know. Here's the sticker pack. So then it just looks like this. It's just all packaged really nicely. Oh, it's an energy drink. Okay, so here's the drink. It's an energy drink. It says, Goran, go, I don't, I can't pronounce that, but here it is. And it just says blue at the top. I don't know if that's supposed to be the flavor or, I'm gonna go put this in the fridge so that by the time I try all the snacks, it will be at least kind of cold. This is the first thing. It says, Sam boy, the flavor hits you. Atomic tomato, crinkle cut potato chips. It smells like ketchup. Oops. We don't have any ketchup flavored chips in America or like tomato flavored chips that I know of. Um, at least that I've never, I've never tried them, if we do. But these kind of just taste like barbecue chips, actually. I'm gonna rate these like a seven. It says twisties, and then it says cheese. And it says life's pretty straight without, oh. It says life's pretty straight without twisties. They're like Cheetos, kind of. Well, they look like Cheetos. Hello, there we go. Kind of look like Cheetos. These are good. I cannot put my finger on what these taste like, but they're good. And my dog wants some. So the next thing is a mint patty by Nestle. Nestle. We have that brand in America. I just don't know how to pronounce it. So it looks like this. It's just a big chocolate circle. Oh. Oh. Okay. In the inside, it has like a marshmallow mint patty. I would probably give... A six. I don't really like mint flavored stuff that much. This is the next thing. It's like Zappo. Zappo, yeah. Seven sour watermelon flavored chews. Like, oh shoot. I just dropped it on the floor. It's chewy, but it's like hard to chew. I definitely prefer this watermelon flavor over any watermelon flavor I've had in America. <laughs> they're pretty good, except it says sour watermelon and they're not sour at all. So. That takes like a point away from them, <laughs> and I'm gonna give them a seven. We have another one of those like patty things, except this one is golden rough with roasted coconut. Looks the exact same, little chocolate, well, not the exact same, here's the other one. <laughs> a little different, but it's like a chocolate thing again. This one's good. This one, I'm gonna give an eight and a half. This is called Violet Crumble. It says, it's the way it shatters that matters. Oh. What the heck? Okay, here's what it Darn it. There we go. There's what it looks like. Delicious shattering chocolate coated honeycomb. There we go. So it's chocolate covered honeycomb. I don't really know what that is, but. It just looks like that. It's honestly not that bad. It just has like a different flavor than what I was expecting. Okay, so we have another thing by Nestle. It's like Milo. It says original source of fi fiber. It's like fiber, but the R and the E are switched. I don't know how to say that word. It looks like Cocoa Puffs, but like in a bar. 
No, not Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Pebbles. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. That one gets a two. So, this is called Cherry Ripe. I don't really like cherries, but... It says, Ripe Juicy Cherries and Coconut in Old Gold Rich Dark Chocolate. I don't really like cherries, and I... Dark chocolate's not my favorite either, so... Oh, no. I honestly do not even want to bite into this. Okay, this is strawberries and cream, and they're like gummies. They look like this. These are good. I knew I was going to like these. These are called Shapes by Arnott's. Ar yeah, Arnott's. And they're Vegemite and Cheese. These are good. Wait, these are really good. I give Shapes a nine and a half. Oh, I've had this. It's a Tim Tam. I'm actually not going to eat this because I've tried it before. This is called Chomp. And it says Caramel. Oh, this is way different than what I was expecting. I give this... An 8. Okay, so this just says Whiz Fizz. Okay, so I looked it up, and you're literally just supposed to eat the powder. There's like a little shovel. I would probably give it like a... A 6 to next thing. Are these little like candy? <laughs> Hold on, let me open it so I can read the packaging. It looks like this. I think it's just like caramel in there. I might drink it. Okay. It smells like... It smells like Sour Patch. Is that weird? It's good. Anyways, um, I give Australia's snacks and candy a big thumbs up. There was only a couple of things that I wasn't really a fan of. And I definitely liked um, a lot more of the stuff in this box than I did the Philippines. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see next month's snack crate box, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications. Um,